What's going on everyone? So in today's video, I want to address my two fastest methods of getting caps in Fallout 76. Now these are the methods that I've been using and that I do use. So without further ado, I'm going to jump straight into it and let's get into our first one. So our first location actually takes place in the same spot where you'll find the golf course. And if you don't know where the golf course is, it's pretty much the best way to get XP in the game currently. It's fairly notorious. There'll be a few videos as well around YouTube if you want to see those XP methods and just feel free to check them out because I definitely suggest it. So anyway, what you want to do is head downstairs and go into the showers. You will see on the sink there is a cap box there as you've just seen. And following that, you want to go into the locker room and you'll also find some caps there. Once you have done there, you finished inside the building. So what you actually want to do is go back outside the building and go to the back of it. You'll see a golf cart and in the front of that little golf cart, there has been some caps that I've seen spawn there. Keep in mind, this isn't too often. It's happened like once every five or six run throughs. So it's not as frequent as the other ones. So you can really skip it if you want to. And if at any point you get confused, just watch the video that should show you the route. Once you have done there, what you want to do is head to a green bus. Just follow the route on the video. And once you go inside that green bus, you will see right at the front of those seats, there is usually a cap stash that spawns there, but there wasn't in mine. Following that, what you want to do is actually head to the main courtyard. Now you can either fast travel, it'll cost one cap, or you can run it, it's completely up to you. And once you are there, what you want to do is go to another green bus that you can see on the right hand side. Right at the back of the bus, there should be a cap stash. And also on the left hand side, you walk up some stairs and you look behind the bench, there'll be another cap stash there. Once you have done that, head inside the building and just follow the route of the video. Now this specific part of the route has been covered a few times on YouTube, but I haven't actually seen people cover the full route, and I just find this to be a little bit more beneficial than just that small part. Following that, once the video is played out, I'm going to put like a little screenshot of all the cap stashes you can actually find around this area, so feel free to take a screenshot of that and have a look for yourself. Now if you didn't know, this is actually a perk you can get called Cap Collector. That'll actually make your life a little bit easier. It'll sort of boost the amount of caps you can get per cap stash. I'd highly recommend it. If you've got some points to spare, I definitely suggest putting him into that. But if you don't, then it's not really a necessity. It just makes things a little bit easier and quicker. So following that, my other favorite method is actually the Nuka Cola plant. And that can be found on the southwest side of the map. It's pretty much just south of Point Pleasant or the Mothman Museum. And also speaking of the Mothman Museum, if you actually do want to get some caps the, I guess you could say legitimate way by vendors, what you can actually do is go to the Mothman statue in Point Pleasant, collect the Mothman eggs and take them to a vendor. They sell for around three caps each, which are not hard to get. You can usually get around 20 of them per harvest and it's not hard to harvest at all. So that's a really good way to make some caps in itself. But back to the video, if you actually look at where I've stopped, that's where you can actually find these cap stashes. Now there are a few of them in this area. I would probably recommend this for lower levels a lot more than I would recommend the previous one, just because there's not as many enemies and they are a lower level. Plus that door that is actually open that you'll see isn't actually always open. I just went to the liberty of opening it for the video. It's actually one you have to pick lock, but there is no level to the pick lock, so it doesn't matter too much. Of course you don't have to get it if you don't want to, but it just does give you a little bit more caps if you want to put the time in. But anyway, so as I said, if you follow the spots in the video, they'll actually show you where you need to go. And of course, where I stop is where those cap stashes are. Now, I'd probably suggest the previous one a little bit better than this Nuka Plant one, but the Nuka Plant one is good because not as many people know about it. So if you are server jumping and doing these methods, you have a higher chance of actually having these caps spawn here. That being said though, depending on when you're watching this video, it could either be patched or a lot of people could already know about this spot. So it could not be as beneficial as it really should be. Now, of course, do keep in mind, if someone else has actually picked up these cap stashes in your server before you actually got to it, there's a higher chance they won't actually spawn again, so your best bet will be just to re-log into a new server. And if the cap stashes aren't there in every place you check, it means that people have probably taken them already. So following that, if you actually like the song that I had going on in the background of this video, feel free to check it out. It's actually something that I just recently made. It's also free to download as well. It'll be linked in the description if you do want to check it out. And of course, if it doesn't really bother you, then don't bother. So keeping this video as short as I can, that's pretty much it. If you've enjoyed and it's helped, feel free to leave a like. It really supports the channel. If you want to subscribe so we can get on our way to 10k, that'll be greatly appreciated. But of course, no obligation to. So that being said, I'll see you guys in the next one.